Mike Callahan, Dr. Fallfinder, and welcome back to our special Butterscotch.com 10-part series on Thunderbird. In this segment, we're going to look briefly at accounts. Now, Thunderbird allows you to make accounts for RSS news and blogs, for Gmail, for news groups, and for email. In this segment, we're going to look at creating an email account. So here we are. It's right after we've installed Thunderbird. There's a download link in the show notes. And then this screen comes up, inviting you to create your account. So we'll have email account selected, click next, put in our name, our email address, click next. Is it pop or IMAP? Leave it as pop. When it asks about using a global inbox, that means one inbox no matter how many accounts you have. I prefer to have my mail sorted into different folders based on where it comes from. The outgoing server is smtp. At gmail.com. You can get this information from your internet service provider, ISP, as to what the POP settings are, or IMAP settings. Click Next. What's your username, outgoing username? And you can give the account, I'll call it Doc Email. Click Next. Now it gives us a summary. Congratulations. Shows our account name, the email address, Incoming username, the pop server, incoming, outgoing. It says download messages now. So we'll click finish. Here's our welcome to Thunderbird. It tells us some more there. Here's our local folders. And you see here is my doc email inbox. If I had used the global folders, they would all be in one folder, no matter how many accounts I used. So, this is creating an account in Thunderbird. It's very easy. Remember again, you can get the POP or IMAP information from your internet service provider. Keep in mind that this is a multiple part series and be sure to watch all 10 parts.